Aaron, what did you think of the at-bats in that ninth inning to eventually take the lead? Awesome. Uh, again, you know, we had a little success against Givens here, but he's a, he's tough. Um, you know, and if and if you're not really good at controlling the zone there, he can he can make you look bad. And uh, you know, two outs, nobody on. You know, sitting over there all day for Glaber to come in and Gary and you know DJ and then and then Aaron finish it off on a three-two count with a huge huge uh, huge at bat doing what he does uh, was a big time inning. You mentioned Glaber. You mentioned Gary. Glaber with the walk. Gary with the single. Is that a nice luxury as a manager to have at your disposal in the ninth inning to pinch hit those guys? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you always like when they're in the lineup, but uh, to have them sitting over there in that spot um, uh, was nice. And the fact that they were ready. Um, you know, it's not always easy for guys that are regulars like that have been sitting over there all day. You know, we got to look a little bit of a lead and, and give it back. And all of a sudden, they're prepared. They're ready to go. You know, they were, they were up hitting, getting ready, getting prepared for, for that at bat right there. And they went up and had good ones. Earlier in the game, Gio Urshela with yet another big hit with the bases loaded. What is it about those situations that seems like it allows him to excel? I don't know. You got to ask him. But it, it was really, really good to see. I thought he was chasing a little bit his first couple at bats and then obviously you know that's one of the at bats of the game huge spot there with two outs and, and bases loaded and he was a little more disciplined got a pitch he could handle and, and delivered another huge hit it was it was it was a great job by Gio. Four game sweep and you get the momentum now going into Kansas City how good is that for you guys? Look, look anytime you can get four games that's you know it doesn't happen obviously very often and really excited we won in a lot of different ways um, in this four game series um, so it was good to see but the guys played till the end uh, each and every day and uh, a good way to get on the plane what do you think when Tanaka takes the ball off his chest um, obviously you know a little pause there just hoping that he's okay and you know you kind of Watch the mannerisms, watch the look in his eye, and when you know, he wanted to throw a pitch, and once he threw it, and kind of gave us the okay, and and actually, I, you know, I think it, I think it spurred him on a little bit. I think he was, I think it, it fired a little, little fire under him, and um, you know, with his pitch count being what it was, especially for through the first two innings, I thought it was going to be a challenge to get him through five, and he just, he, from that point, he took it, and and to get us through six innings the way he did, another strong outing for Massa. Was it off his chest? I couldn't tell what. I think he caught his finger to his chest. So, as manager, the game's half over, and you guys are struggling offensively. Do you ever second guess yourself for not? Starting Torres or Sanchez, or you no, just have to write a no, decision at that point? No, 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 um, not at all. Um, and, and, you know, and especially because of the confidence we have in our guys. And, you know, Tyro plays another big role today. Um, you know, working that walk, he gets a stolen base and road drives him in. Um, you know, and especially nowadays, you know, where we have, a, you know, a three-man position bench, those guys... Those guys got to play and, and to, to stay fresh, to stay relevant, to stay as contributors, and that's what they've been able to do. So when I give those guys a, a, a day off, you know, uh, I'm confident in guys like Tyro and Rowe that they're going to step in and do the job. What was the difference with Holder in the second inning? You know, just the walks. I mean, hurt him, you know, and, and that's something that's very uncharacteristic for, for John. Um, you know, really crisp, obviously, in that first inning. Um, gets an e easy out in the second but but the two walks um that's not him and uh and, and it cost him any idea what you're doing tomorrow oh <laughs> not, not like for lunch or going, going to the field <laughs> um i have an idea but you know i want to get with larry and and make sure we're uh we're we're tuned into what you want or what, what we want to do and and uh and we'll release that shortly aaron what would you say what would you say about the way your team has played for the last month the kind of run that you're on really well i mean these guys <clears throat> um the focus each and every day on 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 the game and and playing winning baseball and everyone kind of pulling their weight and the mantra of come in and do your job they've really taken to that and uh, a lot of them have done it really well you know you mentioned you guys have won in all kind of different ways but you're only about two or three homers off of what you had last year considering what you've lost uh, why are these guys able to, to still do that? it's a credit to to our organization I think for um, you know 
obviously having having a strong farm system, but obviously going out and creating depth and making smart moves and bringing in players in here that are good players. And when you walk in that room right now, that's what you see. You see a lot of good players.